Hello and welcome to How Rich Does It. It's been quite a long time since I've posted a video. Uh, just kind of want to give you uh, a little bit of information of what happened and also my results of my 30 day weight loss challenge and a couple of other things that uh, have been going on since then. I hope uh, because of this coronavirus, uh, everyone has been safe and uh, everyone's family is safe. Unfortunately, it did uh, get a hold of uh, some of my immediate family members, and uh, but they've all recovered since, and it was pretty much like a, uh, a severe flu for them, others a severe cold, and uh, no one had to be hospitalized or anything, and it was just from someone that did not want to adhere to wearing a mask or respect uh, what was going on and kind of infected everybody the same day. So anyway, with that behind us, uh, I'd like to share with you guys, uh, my thumbnail should be my before and after uh, pictures of my 30 day weight loss challenge. Uh, my beginning weight on May 1st, 2020 was 232.5 pounds and May 30th, uh, 2020 my end weight was uh, 215 pounds so as you can see I lost 17 and a half pounds inside of one month and that was without exercising uh, pretty much I've walked you guys through if you look at some of my older videos of actually what I did on a day-to-day -day basis and for the most part this is not sustainable it is not how a person would really um, eat but for me, what it did is it allowed me to lose a lot of weight really fast, helped me stay motivated, encouraged me to continue. Uh, some of the things that I've seen in the past is that people will get started and they're starving themselves or going to the gym every day and they're like, oh my God, I've been at this seven days, I only lost two pounds. And the first chance that they're out or there's a social gathering or, you know, uh, something going on at home, a great meal prepared, they're like, eh, what's the sense? Let me just go ahead and eat. So this kind of helps with that motivation to keep from eating and say, hey, look, I'm sacrificing, I'm doing this. And initially, uh, my program, I was supposed to go right into uh, eating a more sustainable um way uh, healthier uh, means and then I was going to exercise quite a bit at least four to five days a week especially being on on lockdown and unfortunately what ended up happening is uh, my day 30th I weighed in and uh, that afternoon uh, I ended up uh, unloading something that was really heavy off of my truck and I kind of knew better because I was still really being very careful of my hernia surgery that I had had, which that's given me a, a few complications when it comes to lifting heavy things as well. But I immediately, as I was sliding the item off the tailgate on my truck and I went kind of into the bend position, I felt this almost like electrifying um, pain across my lower back the small of my back area. Those of you that maybe it's happened to or have back issues know exactly uh, the feeling I'm talking about. Um, I do have back issues and that was uh, one of the reasons that I was doing what I was doing the way I was doing it because I really cannot exercise a lot or do a lot of different types of exercises because of the back issues that I've had 20 plus years and have actually put off um, having a back surgery uh, so anyways when I felt that I knew that was it I immediately stood up as quickly as possible and that was it I was down I my toes went numb a couple fingers went numb uh, I slowly made my way back into the house into my bedroom lay down and pretty much there I had uh, this what's called a stim machine on my back, back massagers, um, a heating pad, Bengay, uh, ibuprofen because uh, that was the strongest thing my doctor would uh, 
give me being that I had to do an over the phone um, visit with him because they were not physically seeing people. So I knew that wasn't going to help me out. I really needed something for the pain. So it was really tough to suffer through it. And of course, you know, the ice packs I was doing and I was just down. I, I was literally took me about, oh, maybe till I want to say June 10th, where I was actually able to completely stand straight up, still wasn't trying to lift anything. Uh, about the middle of the month, I was feeling a lot better. Um, but those two weeks that I was really down, I mean, unable to tie shoes and so forth, it, it really spooked me and uh, kind of put me in a dark place to keep it 100 with you guys. Like I said a long time ago, I always would try to be transparent with you. And it, I was just like, man, I'm just two weeks out. I was really, I had lost my weight. I was just you know, the very next day I was going to jump into working out and eating better and I was just going to really keep this going. And man, that really, it just, it took me down. It really did. And uh, before you know it, you know, the rest of June went by. I'm sorry if I said July, it was June uh, when, when this was. So about the middle of June as I started feeling better. And, but the next couple of weeks I was just really just uh, back to eating uh, because that was my comfort food during all of the pain because I really didn't have pain meds to take and ibuprofen was not cutting it for the type of pain that I was having and so I find myself where I am now at the beginning of July matter of fact uh, July 3rd I said Rich you know you got to get over this you got to get uh, back in shape you got to start eating better again and uh, you got to get back on your videos because your videos, at least you're holding yourself accountable for for those that do take the time out of their busy days to watch your videos. And maybe it is inspiring to others. So even this backslide, I hope, is inspiring to somebody out there that maybe has gone through something similar and you just, you know, you've given up on all the results you had and you're just carrying on. But you know, hopefully you guys will see a turnaround in, in what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to start back. I actually uh, made a, a really large salad the last couple of days. And I've slowly been introducing um, eating my salads again. Uh, but unfortunately, I've been back on the popsicles. Not so much on any type of soft drinks or anything. Every once in a while. But I've had a few beers and uh but anyway i just kind of wanted to give everyone an update on what's been going on but i mean you can see my before and after pictures it's definitely something that anybody can do uh when i did it last year in 2019 i mean i took it a lot further than that i will actually maybe even a post a couple of those pictures that i took and it still wasn't even at my most extreme weight loss but you will definitely see that uh, at that point, I think I, I did about 60 days and man, I from the before and after pictures of my um, thumbnail that I'm going to post today, just picture about another 10 pounds of fat and about another 5 pounds of muscle added to that frame and that's where I had ended up uh, towards the end of uh, 2019. But anyway... Um, Please, if you have any questions or some comments or some, hey, how's it going? Haven't heard from you in a while. That would be grateful. Really appreciate it. I look forward to um, questions. I've had some questions. Sorry, uh, I took such a long time uh, not to answer them. I actually do have a second YouTube channel that I don't really do anything with other than channel surf. And, and I use that for my how-tos and and things of that nature and I pretty much had stayed off of this just because I uh, feeling sorry for myself and just didn't want to see where I had been and where I'm at now but I feel a lot better emotionally I feel tons better physically I'm actually today is going to be my day one of um, I'm going to go right into hitting these weights and I'm going to introduce uh, my salad eating and my better eating habits, maybe oatmeal for breakfast and salad uh, for lunch and then maybe a salad with a can of tuna for dinner. Just to kind of 
clean my system out. I'll do that for the next couple of days and then I will do a, a Himalayan pink salt flush and re just reintroduce myself and hey, you know, just dust myself off and start over again. But, you know, like I've said in my past videos, I'm going to start slowly so it becomes something sustainable. Uh, not just, oh, I'm not going to eat or I'm going to fast or, uh, you know, I'm just cutting everything out day one. Um, it takes a, it takes a few days for all of the sugars and carbs to, um, you know, run its cycle through your body. And I rather do it that way so I don't have those sugar and carb cravings to the point where I will end up cheating slowly. Just let them kind of just work their ways out. They took all of June and most of uh, July 2020 to get back in my system. Let me take at least seven days to get them out of my system. So I hope that um, this brings some type of value to somebody out there. Please give me a thumbs up, you know, a comment, or if you just stumbled across my channel, please subscribe and, um, you know, let's do this together where someone, you know, falls off the wagon and, you know, dust themselves back off because of life and how we really are and uh, uh you know a keeping it real scenario not someone that um, does whatever and they don't show you where they stumble because we all stumble we're all human uh one last thing in case just before someone throws out a comment uh those pictures of my before and after are day one and day 30 I did not alter them other than to crop all the things out of the uh, frame itself, you know, which was like the background in, in my bathroom. They were all taken in the same place. They were all taken with the same brand underwear on. But you definitely can see a, a difference. But I don't, e I don't even know how to use Photoshop. I don't even have it. Uh, but, I mean, those, those are my natural pictures. There was nothing added or taken away from it. So as always, please be safe, be kind to one another, and thank you for watching, and I will be posting videos here in the very near future. Goodbye.